The weather is perfect here on this island, but nobody at the meeting came to enjoy the beach and the sunshine. Most countries of the Americas and the Caribbean are represented from Canada all the way down to Argentina, and the close to 100 participants have come to do the hard work of identifying challenges to the new evangelization in our continent. The theme of the gathering is mission, reconciliation, and communion. And the discussion topics ranged from mercy to consecrated life to ecumenism and interreligious dialogue. The focus is on the fact that all of us are called to mission. Through our baptism, we are all missionaries. Every baptized person is a missionary because we respond to Christ's instruction, go teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, we are supposed always to speak about missions. And that is why we are here, to explore the various aspects of mission within this, this continent, both North and South America. This has been going on. It means also seeing the various aspects, not only just mission as it said, but also mission and communion, mission and pardon, mission and, um, and, um, and cooperation, and mission and work, and also mission within the context of the daily living of the people. Because it's not just a question of mission in, in, in a vaguely, but seeing it within the daily living of the people. And here it is very concrete, especially with the Latin Americans. I think I heard one of the um, speakers yesterday say that if you really want to know Pope Francis and his papacy, you have to know the Aparecida document. And there's lots of us that for years have been introducing and speaking of that. So now, because of the Pope, this is just a wonderful opportunity to take these wonderful dialogues and conversations that happen uh, with all of Latin America, and then we're able to bring that back and offer it that, that to them as a gift. Most of us still think that to be a missionary, you have to go to another country. But our church teaches that the joy of the gospel, the encounter with Jesus, has to be shared. And for most of us, that means in our families, with our co-workers, with our friends. Here in Puerto Rico, we are learning that to be a missionary, you don't have to go to another country. You can begin right at home.